Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. You may notice I'm on a different camera today, and that's because if you've seen my HDCP videos that I've done on my channel, you have seen this awesome AV Access HDMI splitter. Um, if you haven't seen any of those videos and you guys are interested in having a setup that helps you deal with the headaches of HTCP, go check that, check that out. But the reason I bring this up is that AV Access, the company that makes this splitter that I've been loving for God, years now, they contacted me and they wanted me to try out this KVM switch. Those of you who have been around here a little while and seen some of my hardware videos know that I'm actually currently running off of a different KVM switch just because I run my gaming setup off of my PC monitors. And so I have my uh, consoles hooked to it and I was having this really weird issue where if I switched the full input for my monitors, it would scramble up all my screen, all my apps across my different uh, screens for my computer, which really irritated me. The KVM switch helped me solve that problem. So I'm really excited to see what this AV Access one uh, is gonna do. They sent me this for free, which is nice, but other than that, they have not uh, given me any sort of uh, payment for this. I'm just gonna try it out, see if I like it, see how it compares to my other one. One cool thing about this um, is that it supports dual monitors, meaning you can hook multiple computers to two monitors and switch between them at the time, which is cool. As you can tell, I use three monitors, but I'm not using this as a computer HD or a computer uh, KVM switch, I'm going to be connecting this between one computer and my video game consoles. Um, if you guys saw my previous KVM switch video, this will be analogous to that. So I'm going to see how this works in that setup. So I'm going to get it plugged in, hooked up, play with it a little bit, and uh, yeah, let you know what I think. All right, I thought you guys might be interested to see what's actually in the box. So let's go through and uh, just do the unboxing real quick, see what's in here. Obviously, we have got boom manual. Uh, I've already read through this a little bit to get an idea of the features, which I was talking about a little bit. The KVM switch itself, which you see this is a, a chonker, but what's cool about it, like I said, is it supports two monitors for the switch, which I think is super cool. Um, not really going to apply to my setup, but uh, another cool thing about this is USB 3 switching. This actually has a separate USB switching mode. So you can do KVM or USB, so this basically works as like a USB switching hub if you wanted to switch the um, keyboard and mouse. So we got cables for hooking that up. HDMI, power, HDMI, HDMI, I would expect to find about four HDMI cables in there, that's what we got. And then power, so that one was the power cable and this is the power brick. So yeah, that's what's in there. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get hooked up and see how it goes. Okay, so you may notice that some time has passed since those intro videos. So since I did the unboxing and I got this thing and uh, I got it hooked into my system, things came up. I wasn't able to finish this video, so I've been had this as a permanent part of my setup for like two months now. I've been daily driving this KVM switch and I absolutely love it. It has been do working flawlessly. I replaced my old KVM switch here. Um, the old one was good too, but one thing that's really cool about this one is these, well, it's got jacks right in the front for uh, microphone and headset. I don't really use those, um, but it does have them, which is a nice feature to have. It's got, a, it's got four USB ports up front here so that you can hook in your keyboard and mouse, but it also is a KVM switch that supports USB device switching. Uh, which is cool. So it makes it a little bit more functional. If you remember the limitations on my old keyboard and mouse switch, it actually didn't support uh, mechanical keyboards uh, officially through the keyboard port. If you used the one USB port, it could do a mechanical keyboard basically as a USB device. This one, no problem. Supports it all natively. USB three speeds, my mechanical keyboard, my mouse, all of it. I don't have to do anything tricky or fancy plug it all in, it all just works between both. So I'm gonna throw this on the tripod and show you this thing in action, switching back and forth between keyboard, uh, between keyboard and mouse on the my PC and my Xbox Series X, and just kind of show you how it works. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy that, so let's go take a look at that. All right, so when it's all hooked up, I can have my keyboard and mouse hooked to it. Right now I have them hooked up wirelessly just through these front USB ports. Um, but as you can see, they work just fine for my 
computer so that I can actually do what I want to on here. Click around on my windows, use it like a computer. Then when it's ready for game time, switch over. I have my Xbox on right now. You can hear it disconnecting from Windows because the KVM is switching it over. But even without the controller, like you can see, now my keyboard and my mouse are working on my Xbox. So I can even switch back directly to my controller. Let's jump into like a little private match here real quick. Or even, actually, should I be just stupid and just jump into a game? Let's see how this goes. I do kind of like navigating the interface with this. Marksman, do I try and snipe? I hear that sniping on keyboard and mouse is easier. I don't know, let's try, let's try it, let's see. But yeah, I've been daily driving, <laughs> there's a gap. <laughs> I've been daily driving this thing for a couple of months now. Yeah, and I gotta say, I really like it. I mean, I've already, <laughs> I've already replaced my old KVM switch uh, in my setup, so you can tell that I like it. It is now my official full-time KVM, but... Let's, uh, you know what, let's, how do you do this? Okay, hold down right, hold down right, click. <laughs> and then, come on, come on, bud. Oh, oh, missed. Uh, shoot. Stop. Oh, shoot. Shot in the b-hole. <laughs> and so I am. Not an old keyboard and mouse pro here. Oh, hit marker, are you kidding me? Hey, there's a kill. I need to, I need to adjust my DPI. Let's go up on the, oh, no, let's go, let's go down on the DPI. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit more manageable for my newbie skills. Nope, wrong button, reload. Holy crap. Oh my god, <laughs> what is going on? Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Well, we did not win, but, and then switch back, go on Reddit, complain about my loss, say this game is bullshit. Reddit, let's see. Master Race, let's go to PC Master Race and, and say that that's bullshit. This is bullshit. You guys are bullshit. All right, so there you go. <laughs> that is KVM Switch. Working flawless. Is it gonna put me in another game? Don't do that. Get me out of here, get me out of here. I don't, I don't wanna be part. If you're PC Master Race, cool. That's all good. But, controller. Controller life for me. Okay, well hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If this is something you want to add to your gaming setup. I rec I mean, of course I recommend it because it's literally now part of my gaming setup. And just my general PC setup. So, uh, I'll put a link down in the description below so that you guys can pick one up if you want. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.